Hello! In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to get started with the CC3100 Simple Link Wi Fi Booster Pack and Energia. This booster pack will help you take your launchpad projects into the cloud using your personal Wi Fi network. The booster pack communicates over SPI, so we will need to use the SPI and Wi Fi libraries in Energia. For this example, we will be using the MSP430 F5529 launchpad paired with the CC3100 Boost. Alternatively, we can use the booster pack with most launchpads supported by Energia, making it easy to add Wi-Fi to the launchpad you prefer to work with. Now let's get started. First, plug your launchpad to your computer over USB. Next, let's open up Energia. We will import an existing code example by going to File, Examples, Wi-Fi, Simple Web Server Wi-Fi. Make sure we select our board and COM port by going to Tools, Board, MSP430 F5529, and Tools, Serial Port. The Wi-Fi examples are designed to be very straightforward. In this case, the only thing we will need to modify is our SSID and password information for our Wi-Fi router. After we include our required header files for spy.h and Wi-Fi.h, we'll enter our router information. Next, we'll call our Wi-Fi server constructor and set it to port 80. In the setup function, we'll start our serial communication with serial.begin. We'll print out some helper and loading text as the Wi-Fi connects. Once it connects successfully, we'll print the Wi-Fi status message, which includes the CC3100 IP address assigned by the router. In the loop function, we'll check the server.available function. Then we'll proceed to check for clients connecting to our server hosted on the CC3100. Once we get a client, which means something sends a request to the IP of the launchpad, then we use client.println to write HTML that will render a basic web page on the client's browser. This web page will give a user basic control over the launchpad's red LED. We'll check for get requests and then use digital write to actuate the LED. When the client is no longer connected, we'll use the client.stop function. And that's it. Press the verify and download button, open up the serial monitor, wait for the launchpad to successfully connect to Wi-Fi, and then navigate to the IP address to find the page hosted by the hardware. You can toggle the LED by clicking the high and low buttons. This is the first step to your next Wi-Fi connected project. There are many examples in the Wi-Fi library you can explore to interact more meaningfully between the hardware and the internet. Good luck!